be careful with him. It's all right, it's all right. They know what they're doing. I want to go with him. Look, the state he's in, he's not even going to be able to tell them his name. All right, I'll drive you. I want to go in the ambulance. He's had a beating. He'll be all right. Can you manage here? There's no point in straightening the place out until the police have been. <laughs> he must have been trying to stop them. Stop them? The burglars. Yeah, you, you go along. <laughs> Jim, if she wants him, let her have him. What's it to you? Gary, she's my wife. She's your carer. She looks after you. <sighs> yeah, she also made a buck stupid fool of me. Well, they all do that from time to time. <sighs> Gary, you would not be taking this so lightly if it had been your wife in bed with another man. Let me tell you that. She's not your wife. I saw them with my own eyes. Don't you understand that? Jim, it's not worth it. You get on with your own life and let them go to... Wherever it is they're going. Milton Keynes, that's where they're going. Michael's got himself a job there. Well, he thinks he has, anyway. Well, has he, aren't he? Well, he might be in for a bit of a shock. Well, there is such a thing as a code of professional practice, so there is. So? So? I don't think that includes seducing patients' wives, do you? I don't reckon that's encouraged. She ain't your wife. She's your curer, and I think they can do what they like with curers. Not if I have anything to do with it. Yes? Yeah. Oh, dear me. What happened? Probably something Tony deserved. The paramedics said he's had a right going over with a baseball bat. A baseball bat's fashionable. Well, in certain circles, yeah. Oh, he's in with the wrong crowd. I don't know what to do. Oh, you sound like a really worried parent. I'm worried about my house, not him. Mm. <sighs> Ashley said she thought it was a burglary. Oh, yeah. Television's in the place where it should be. The hi-fi, a jewellery, there's nothing missing. Except for maybe a couple of Tony's teeth. Yeah, well, he didn't look too handsome. Then again, he tend not to have had a beating round the head. Well, tell your mates in Weatherfield General that can keep him in as long as they like. Keeps him out of my air. Well, he's not that bad, is he? I don't like him. Whoever's done all of this, whatever it was about, he'll keep his mouth shut. Why do you think he knew him? I told you there's nothing missing. Yeah, but Des, you're a bookie. You could have been looking for money. I don't keep cash in the house. Well, burglars aren't to know that, are they? It wasn't a robbery. Not if you want my opinion. Look at this job you've got. Yeah. Why were you so secretive about it? Uh, I thought women were supposed to like men with an air of mystery. Oh, men, yeah. Husbands, no. Right, um... Well, I didn't want to tell you till I was sure myself. I mean, they, they might have turned me down. Why were there others after it? I didn't see anyone, but... Didn't you have to have a proper interview? Yeah, but that was just me and Mar um, the, the head of department. What will you have to do? Cut up frogs? I'll do whatever they tell me, to be honest. Well, it'll be more like setting up experiments and that, won't it? Well, you've got to know what you're doing doing that. Well, Nick does know what he's doing. He's got his GCSEs. Yeah, but he's not exactly a nuclear scientist, is he? Like, what's his name? Einstein. Yeah, but he's not exactly a thicky, though, is he? Like some people. Are you calling me thick? No, she isn't. I was joking. Well, I wasn't. He's not a scientist. Uh, look, all I do is I get the equipment out and put it away again and just keep the place tidy. Make sure nobody's left a gas tap on. Oh, yeah, you need about eight GCSEs these days to switch off a gas tap. <laughs> well, you couldn't do it if you only needed one. Well, neither could you. Oh, neither could I. Well, just goes to show you how smart I was to marry someone with brains. Still there. Has he seen me? Of course he's seen you. He saw you the minute you walked in. Well, as long as he stays put. Well, that's what you're doing. Well, I'm not walking past him. It were bad enough in private. I'm not having a row in public as well. Gary's there. He can always shut him up. I am staying right here until Jim leaves. Right. Better get you another drink then, hadn't I? Yes, please. Oh. <laughs> hey! Have you heard? About what's going on? Hey, hey, excuse me. Deirdre was before you. Two red wines, please, Betty. Coming up, love. Thank you. I only wanted to say that Desi's place has just been burgled. Burgled? I saw the ambulance from outside our bedroom window. Ambulance? Don't you mean police car? No, I mean ambulance. Natalie's lad was being stretched out. Tony, is he all right? Is Natalie all right? Well, she went in the ambulance too. Oh, you mean she's been hurt? No, she went with him. He looks in a really bad way. When did all this happen? About half an hour ago. Then Martin Platt went in, then the police went in. I thought you'd have known about this already. Not heard a thing, have we? Oh, I could hear everything. 
suppose you just happened to have your window open, did you? No, 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 I was leaning right out of it. Give me a right pain in the gut. Oh, you should have seen the blood, though. Oof. I don't want to talk to you, Jim. Well, I want to talk to you. I've got nothing else to say. Ah, but I have. Look, if I want to go away with Michael, then I will. But at the moment, I haven't made my mind up. Well, I've made your mind up for you. Oh, have you? Hmm, I have. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> He's got the job. He signed the contract. Well, he might as well tear the contract up, cos that's exactly what the health authority are going to do. You're in a world of your own. No, I'm not. I've been in more NHS clinics and you've had hot dinners, and I happen to know there's a professional code of practice. Staff are not allowed to have illicit relationships. We're both free agents. Neither of us have any ties. Well, you see, the thing is, if I tell the health authority what he's been up to, they'll rip his contract up before he can even clock on for his first appointment. I wouldn't do that. Wouldn't I? I'd do a hell of a lot worse than that. Make sure he never works again. Police only stayed five minutes. They wanted to talk to Tony. He looks awful. Well, they said they'd be back tomorrow. Well, he might not be home by then. Well, I thought they were only going to keep him in overnight. Well, that's what they said. Look, bruises always look bad, and a few well-placed cuts. But they're not life-threatening. Doctors will want the bed. I know. He'll have a sore head and bad ribs. But he's walking wounded. Yeah. I suppose it could have been a lot worse. Look at the state of this place. Well, nothing's missing. They didn't even go upstairs. Well, I'd rather they'd have taken everything and left Tony alone. What would a burglar want in here? Well, the place is full of things to sell. Well, they didn't take any. That's because they didn't get a chance. Tony stopped them. He fought them off. They knocked him unconscious. I know they did. Well, they just waited till he wasn't in a position to argue, then they just ran away. Oh, Des, I don't know what happened. Didn't Tony say anything? He said he couldn't even remember opening the door. It's very convenient. I thought he was dead. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, why didn't he step aside? Hey? There's nothing in here worth risking his life for. Why didn't he just let them take everything? <sighs> Move on, or you'd be late. Oh, I feel like giving it a miss. Ah, uh, Rita would suck you. Oh, is that boring behind that counter? Yeah, but think of the money. <laughs> can we go to a club tonight? Um, well, we can't really afford it, can we? With a bit of luck, this will be Rita saying that the shop's burnt down. Hello. Um, yeah, just a minute. Some woman for you. Is it? Hello. Oh, hi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, okay, I'll see you later. Right. Bye. Huh? Who was that? Um, my my boss. I've I've got going for a couple of hours this afternoon. Hmm? Didn't know your boss was a woman. Yeah, she is. Why didn't you tell me? Look, it's a few extra quid, money in my hand, they're right. Yeah. Yeah, so uh so do you fancy that club tonight then? Yeah, too, right. Something to look forward to while I weigh out the pear drops. Look, all I'm saying is that burglars steal things. They didn't get the chance, did they? And you've got Tony to thank for that. Oh, yeah. What are you doing home? I, um, discharged myself. Well, they said you'd be in overnight. Yeah, well, it was, wasn't it? It's not gone nine yet. Did they examine you? Did they say you were fit to leave? What? I didn't ask. I got up and walked. It's a bit stupid, wasn't it? No. You look exhausted. Yeah, well, I sleep better here than hospital. The wards were too noisy. Yeah, you're used to the quiet life. Get off my back, Des. We were worried about you. I'll sleep it off. Mm. Apparently, I owe you a debt of gratitude. You practically laid down your life for my television set. You what? The thieves never took anything, thanks to you. Oh, good. Go on, lie down till the police get here. Police? Yeah, they want to talk to you. 
Why, I don't remember anything. Well, maybe after you've rested, it might just all come flooding back. No, I never saw him. Oh, what did you do? Pass out before they got in the house? Come on. The best place for you is bed. Thanks, love. Do you know, if we're as quiet as this for rest at day, you might as well go home early tonight. Oh, that'd be nice. What about clubbing tonight? Hey, yeah, I used to do that, you know, about 100 years ago. <laughs> Down stood two in the morning, kiss all the fellas, get home tiddly. I only kiss Nick. Well, you have to make do with what you can get these days. Hey, he's lovely, my Nick. Ah, here he is, the man of my dreams. Uh -huh. Rita, I've got good news for you. Have you? The door is finished. At last! He's referring to the gates to paradise. Uh, yeah, your joiner fellas packed his bags and gone. He tells me the final coat of varnish will be dry in three or four hours. I'm overcome with excitement. Yeah, so at four o'clock... Yes? I want you there for the opening. Will the press be invited? Certainly not. Oh. Well, I can uh, get on the front of cassette if you want. Hey, listen, it may be just a door to you, young lady, but to some of us it means a great deal. Well, the length of time it's taken you, you could have built a house. <laughs> Will you be there? What? Yeah, with bells on? Right. Four o'clock. Don't be late. Hey, no smirking, lady. Will your Nick have a door varnish to your specifications when you both got a bus pass in your pocket? My Nick could do anything for me. Anything's too much. Something's what you need. What do you mean? Well, it's better to have half a crown in your hand than the promise of a hundred pound in the bank sometime in the future. Half a crown? Oh, you know what I mean. Yeah, twelve and a half p. Doesn't sound much, does it? Well, if it's all you want out of life. I didn't say that's all I wanted. I just said, oh, now, look, you're getting me confused. <laughs> oh, goff it, Rita. From the look on his face, the old son's so smitten. <laughs> Gail. Yes, Helen. How do you and Martin spend your evenings? Well, last night I had a bath and Martin chatted up an ambulance driver. And what do you do as a rule, though? Watch telly. Good. Hayley thinks we ought to be getting out more. Well, in the summer, we used to take the kids to the Red Wreck. <laughs> you don't want to go there, do you? <laughs> Not this time of year, no. No, it does have to be an indoor type of activity. Oh, cinema, theatre, concert hall. Uh, well, they're, they're a long way away and some of them are pretty expensive. You don't have to go every night. Well, I'm looking for somewhere we could attend on a regular basis. <laughs> Rovers! <laughs> I want something a bit more cultural, really. A bit difficult round here. How about evening classes? Would you be interested? Oh, now, evening classes are full of culture. Astronomy to zoology. What do you think? Yeah, well, sounds like a good idea. Smashing right. We'll do that, then. I'll see you later. I wondered what made him so angry last night. Yeah, I told him I was in love with you. Why did you say that? Cos I am. I think it's about time he knows it. I knew you shouldn't have gone round to the house. Well, I wasn't going to tell him over the phone. Would you slam the receiver down? Yeah, he wanted to slam me down, I can tell you. Things got a bit fraught. The tend to with Jim. You know, I feel sorry for him in a lot of ways, but... All that matters to me now is that I, I love you and I want to be with you. Are you sure? Well, if I wasn't, I wouldn't be asking you to leave your home and your friends and come down the other end of the country with me. <sighs> I've got no proper home here. Only a few friends. It'd be no great sacrifice. Don't kid yourself, Liz. It's not an easy thing to do. Anyway, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to do it. Oh, Liz, don't turn me down. Jim put me straight last night. If I go away with you, he's going to lodge a complaint with the health authority. It won't just be your home and your friends you lose. It'll be your job as well. Look, I opened the door, they pushed past me and shoved me against the wall. And they didn't say anything? No. Didn't ask for money? I don't remember. They were white in their twenties? Twenties or thirties. And they wore jeans? Yeah. Hair colour? Don't know. Maybe brown. <laughs> well, thanks very much. You've been most helpful. Look, I didn't see anything. Perhaps if they come back, you'll take more notice. Thanks for the coffee. I'll see myself out. No, no, it's okay. Thanks for coming, Sergeant. 
No height, no weight, no distinguishing features. Oh, and how many scars have you got? They could be blonde, dark, redheads. Oh, they could be bald. Yeah, well, you've got a great memory, haven't you? Hey, he was knocked out. It's a wonder he remembers anything. He doesn't. His description fits half the population. He's done his best. All we know is that there were two of them, they were white, and they were men. It's the best I could do. He was concussed. Yes, concussed. Go on. You go back to bed, you look really tired. He's only just got up. He needs rest. Yeah. It's taken it out of me answering all those questions. You know, anyone would think I was a criminal. He'll accuse you of abusing your position. That'll be his word against yours. And yours. Hey, he has got a point. You were supposed to be looking after him. You're making things sound a lot worse than they really are. Yeah, well, I've had all night to think about this. You can't throw your job away. Not for me. I can do something else. People lose their jobs every day. They don't just lie down and die. Anyway, I don't think he's going to go through with it. Oh, Jim can be vindictive. Oh, all right, he can do what he likes. I love you. I want to be with you. I'm not going to change my mind. What if he were to change his? You just said he wouldn't. He would if I went back to him, for good. He wouldn't do that. I would. For you. Yes. I've got to go. I'm going to be late back for work. Alec, are we doing the right thing? I mean, if I cut this, what will it signify? Well, it's only a yard of ribbon. It's hardly major surgery, Rita. <laughs> no, just, just look on it as the start of a new era for two old friends. Two lonely old friends. Well, we could be lonely together. You know what they say, there's safety in numbers. We might regret it. Hey, my life's full of regrets. One more's not going to break me. What happens if we find we've made a mistake? Rita, it's a door. It opens and it shuts. There's a lock on your side and another one on mine. Romantic pair, aren't we? Listen, if you want roses every day, I should have joined forces with a florist. No, I think I'll settle for the odd vodka and tonic. Hey, <laughs> now, it's funny you should say that. I almost bought a bottle of champagne. Ah. I thought you might smash it against the door. What? And ruin a piece of quality workmanship? <laughs> That's what I like about you, you see. You do appreciate the finer things in life. Yes. And one of them's a little ball fella that runs the local pub. Oh, thank you. Stand back. Uh -oh. <laughs> Here we go. Hey! Hey, <laughs> hey, well done, Rita. Oh, Alec, this may turn out to be the best idea you've ever had. I'll never presume, Rita. You can be sure of that. I know. I am. Right, then. It's back to work because the rovers and the cabin can't survive without us. No. Oh, Alec. Would you like to come through tonight for your dinner? And I'll make a summit special. Shall I uh, bring the champagne? Yes. Let's have a real celebration. Right, yeah. Yeah, OK, yeah, it sounds really good. <laughs> Tell the Tory and Pashley we're going to be here all night. What's the plan? I've got to do papers in the morning. If we don't leave soon, we'll have to go after five minutes. No chance. Nick normally has to drag it out at clubs. Well, we don't normally go, do we? Who's on the other end of that phone? Ruth. Oh, uh, may as well push off now then. Aye. Uh, she's never short of so much to say, yeah. Yeah, she talks a lot of rubbish. Psycho babble. I'll tell Zoe we're going. No, I understand. No, that'd be brilliant. It's great having sex to money, isn't it? Oh, you're not kidding. So, if I don't get the sack or anything, do you fancy going away for a bit? What, now? Okay. No, no, next year. And I don't mean abroad or anything, but... Right, sorry, they're all well, just you and me for a few days, like our first holiday. Yeah, a nice one. All right, I'll start saving them. Well, don't start tonight. Spend. Yeah, OK, then. Cheers. Bye. Oh, about time. Guess what? What? Come on! That was Ruth ringing about my job. Oh, had second thoughts, has she? Sacked you already. <laughs> no, she wants me to start properly. Oh, when? Come on. Monday. Oh, that's great. That just proves it. Only not as a dim player. <laughs> I'm really pleased for you. What are you doing up? Got bored. I've got to go to work. No props. Let me ring them and say I can't come in. He can manage without you. Well, you do look a lot better, and Des can get you anything you want. 
Yeah. And if you do need me, he can run across. Look, you go on, Natalie. There's nothing you can do here. Yeah, Des and me will stay in and watch Dolly together. OK. Yeah. See you later. Bye. You've got a tied round your little finger. A mother's love. There's nothing like it. Yeah, well, if she knew what you were up to... Yeah, well, she done, and you can't tell her. I will when I find out. Get off my back, Des. Yeah. A what? Or I'll tell her you've been hassling me. She's only known you five minutes. Next to her precious little son. You don't rate. Hey, do you know that was a lovely meal, Rita? Absolutely delicious. That's because the company was good. Yeah. First class, in fact. Yeah. So you don't think we've made a terrible mistake? No, I don't. Well, if you do change your mind, breeze blocks are cheap enough, you know. That wall can be built up a damn sight faster than it were knocked down. I hope that won't be necessary. Oh, well, so do I. Hey, shall I open another bottle? I wouldn't mind. Uh, mind you, have we got time? I mean, I don't want to keep you up too late. Oh, don't worry about that. Leanne's doing the papers in the morning. All right. Stay as long as you like. Right. Uh, I don't suppose another hour would uh, do any harm, would it, eh? After all, it, uh, it is an occasion. Don't stay an hour, Alec. Oh, well, fine. I mean, uh, you, uh, you just say when you've uh, had enough. Stay the night. What? I'm a realist, Alec. I won't ask a lot and I won't offer, but I would enjoy your company. Liz. Deirdre's gone out. She thought you'd come round. You didn't mean what you said back then. Oh, yeah, I did mean it. Yeah, I'll uh, stay here for now and then eventually I'll go back to Jim. That is madness. That's not what you want to happen. <laughs> Michael, it's gone beyond what I want. I've got to do what's right. Sacrifice yourself to an embittered man. It's all I can think of. You'll never be happy. He won't let you. He won't be able to say I've abandoned him. And he won't drag you down. I can look after myself. So can I. No, you can't. You're so busy thinking about other people. You've completely lost sight of your own feelings. I can't walk out on him if it's going to cost you your job. Right, ask yourself what you need. Do you need a man who's going to love you or a man who's going to resent you? You could start a new job and a whole new life. So can you. It'd be easier for you without me. Right, is that what you really want? If I go, Jim... J Jim, just forget Jim. I'm in love with you. He just wants to own you. He'll... Come with me, Liz. Come with me. Leave Jim, leave him and all his little problems where they belong. Put yourself first. Make yourself happy. You've got nothing to keep you here. <laughs> 